Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we got this 2015 Ram 1500 right behind me. So the issue with this Ram 1500 is that the radio is actually not illuminating at all. So if you try to push any buttons, nothing happens. So on today's video, we're gonna try to see if we can try to figure it out and give this vehicle back to the customer. All right, so we're inside the vehicle right now and we have the key inside the ignition and as you can see there's nothing going on so let's turn this on to the run position and let's try to turn on this radio all right nothing turns on i can hear the ac so the ac's on right here but the radio is not working at all all right, um, I did talk to the customer. He did explain that he has an amplifier on this uh, vehicle right here. And the main fuse on the amplifier are blue. And I can actually see that once we go outside, we're gonna look at it. But when I was doing a little bit of research trying to find this fuse, I really couldn't find it. So let me show you the blown amp fuse, the big one that he put for the, for the big amplifier. And then let's go to the wiring diagram and see if we can try to find this fuse. So if we look right here, this is gonna be our aftermarket uh, actual fuse. And if we zoom in just a little bit, we can really see where the damage is at. But you can see right there, it is blown. And another thing that we can do right here as you can see, we have our test light hooked up to the negative side. Let's just verify it works. As you can see, it does work, it does light up. So we can easily just touch one side of the actual fuse. And as you can see right there, it is good. And on this side, there's nothing. So first, we have to fix this up, but right there, this is not gonna be our problem per se, where it's gonna turn on the radio, we gotta find out if there's a radio fuse. So now let's go to the wiring diagram. So this is the first initial problem that caused everything, but now we gotta find out the wiring diagram and see where the radio fuse is at to see if we can fix that up. All right, so this is the issue that we have right here. So if we can look at right here, this is the radio circuit. And if we go right there, there's our radio fuse. So check that out. As we can see, it says radio fuse and it shows that there's a 20 amp fuse and the location is lower left end of dash. That's where it shows. And then after that, the other fuse, this is in the power distribution center, but this is the one I'm trying to look for, the radio fuse, 20 amp. And <laughs> I went ahead, I was trying to look for it right there in the lower end of dash, but I couldn't find anything. So I got our actual user guide and if we go to the back right here where it shows fuses all right if we look at page 278 that's where our fuses are at we go right here and this is where it shows our power distribution center and basically it should show you where your fuse boxes are at but as you can see if we turn the page that's it there's no more fuse boxes. It's only showing that the power distribution center is gonna be the main one. And looking over this, if we want to, tell me if you find a fuse. Fuse 20. I don't know about you. I don't see anything. All right, so this is where I started scratching my head right here, and I was trying to see what's going on. I have right here our wiring diagram from Pro Demand, and it's showing something. And as you can see, it's a 2015, and we can see here that that's our fuse. But our user guy is telling us that we don't have a fuse on the lower left end of dash. So what can we do? We did a little bit of research and this is what we found out. So let's go to the engine compartment. I'm gonna show you something right now and hopefully this helps out other people out there because look, I'm gonna take you to the lower left of the dash 
and you're not going to see nothing. And then after that, we're going to go to the engine compartment. I'm going to show you where this fuse is at. All right, we are on the bottom part of the dash. And the only thing I can see is this little module right here. But there's no fuses there. And I looked all over. Couldn't find anything. And that's why I was confused. And normally speaking, they'll have it right here on the side. But there's nothing there. And normally they have like a little fuse. Uh, indicator right here telling you to pull this but when I went to the bottom I couldn't find anything so now let's go to the engine compartment and let me show you what fuse I found and how crazy it is so always do your research all right so when I was reading the actual form right there they did say that they had a radial fuse that was external to everything and it was on the power side so you gotta run through this wire right here so we gotta run through it some of them are right here, but if you keep on going a little bit further, look what we find right here. And this looks like something external, like they just put like an external part right here whatsoever. But if you open this up, guess what? There's a 20 amp fuse right there. And let's get our test light. We're going to verify that it works first before we check this. And let's check this out. So we're going to check one end of the leg. There you go. Now let's check out the other end. And there's nothing there. One end, other end. How about we take this out and let's check it out and let's verify if our radio turns on. Look at that. That's a blown fuse right there, buddy. Awesome. So we got another 20 amp fuse right here. As you can see, this one's not blown. Looks nice and good. We're gonna go ahead and put this sucker in there. All right, now let's verify. So remember, make sure that the test light's working. There you go. And then we're gonna test one side and then test the other side. All right, so now we have power right here. Now the moment of truth. Are we going to go inside to the vehicle and we're going to test this out and verify if this works. All right, so this is the moment that we've been waiting for right here. We're going to verify if this radio turns on right here. Oh, all right. So we're going to get both shots right here. Let's see if this works. Hey, hey, hey look at that. Oh, man, this is awesome right here. So there you go. This little fuse right there cause it to not work all right so if you do like this video please put a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out from miles mechanics 